Now, I've made a lot of PVC stuff over the years. See what I'm saying? But I never made a rod holder for bank fishing. You wanna know why? Because they ain't very dependable. That's why. That's pretty obvious because I've made a lot of rod holders. A lot of them. Well, one of my subscribers sent me an idea that he had and I really liked it. I can't remember his name right now. Oh yeah, there it is. Anyway, let's get started on this rod holder and we'll go over the materials that we're going to use. Now, I know you guys probably seen some PVC rod holders before, but this one is a little bit different. Just a little bit. But we're going to go over the list of materials that we're going to be using. Now, the first thing I'm using is I got this Y right here and you can see why they call it a Y. <laughs> kind of shaped like a Y, ain't it? But this Y I'm using is one and a half inches. The reason I picked the one and a half inch Y is because all my fishing rods will fit into this. I've got whisker sicker rods and they fit into this. I've got some ripping lips rods and they fit into the Y. I got some ugly sticks and the handle of these fit in that Y too. That's the main thing you want to be looking for. Even these old Zebco rods that I bought for that bank fishing video, they fit in the Y too. That's kind of the explanation for the size of the PVC that you're going to be using. Next up, we got a reducer. The outside of this reducer is designed to go into one and a half inch PVC joints like this one right here. It's made to go right inside that joint. Now this inside hole is designed for one inch PVC to go inside of it, like that right there. So this right here is a critical part of our rod holder. It's a one by one and a half reducer. And I got all this stuff at Lowe's. <laughs> we also got some one inch PVC and I've got a piece that's about two foot long. This right here is a three foot long stake. And this three foot long round steel stake is about three quarters of an inch in diameter. Now I'll get these round stakes over where the rebar is in the concrete section of Lowe's. They're not very expensive, but you could use rebar instead of the round stake. But as you can see, the rebar is just not as thick. It's probably five eighths and this is three quarters. But if you do have some rebar and you want to use it, you're just going to have to drop down the one inch pipe to three quarter most likely. All the dimensions on this you can rearrange and make it work for your project now this next part was the very interesting part of this rod holder that makes it really cool and this is the idea that i got from one of my subscribers and this thing right here makes this rod holder a game changer and it wasn't easy to find either but I got a one inch galvanized split ring tube hanger. Wasn't easy to find cause I didn't know what it was called, but it looks like this. And it's made to where it's not going to rust and it's really strong. I mean, it's all metal, but it's made to go around one inch pipe and it's got a threaded side that you can put a bolt in, which by the way, you'll have to buy separate and you'll have to figure out which bolt you need according to which hanger you use. You see what I'm saying? bolt goes right in there. But if you're going to use a three quarter inch pipe, you can also get these galvanized split ring tube hangers in three quarters of an inch. I'm just saying. Speaking of PVC, you want to hear a good plumber joke? Oh Lord. A good flush beats a full house every time. I should have said no. Last thing you're going to need is some glue and some PVC primer. The primer cleans it, the glue sticks it together. Most of y'all know that. If you wanted to save a little money and not buy the glue, cause this stuff ain't super cheap, even though most people have some laying around their house, you could take some screws and just screw this thing together and that would work too. I'm just saying. So the first step to making this rod holder, we're gonna take our little Y joint right here. And this part sticking down right here, make sure you glue it into the right part. We're gonna glue this reducer into the bottom right here. First, we'll take our primer, prime both pieces, cause the primer is to make sure you get a good bond. Now we want a good bond because we don't wanna lose no fishing rod. You understand? You might catch a big one. I mean, I do it all the time, people, but occasionally y'all might catch a big one too. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. That fish was smaller than me. Well, technically it's your fault. Anyway, make sure that you primer both parts. Next, we're gonna take our all-purpose cement. And we're gonna put cement 
on the inside of our wire and we're going to put it on our reducer then put them together and i'm going to take a dead blow and tap on it and make sure it's seated good so the next step is to get a drill bit that's just a little bit smaller than your boat that's just a little bit bigger than your boat you see what I'm saying? It don't have to be a lot bigger. You just want it a tiny bit bigger than your boat. I'm going to take a drill bit, put it in a drill, and drill a hole somewhere in the middle of our piece of PVC, which will be like 12 inches since it's two foot long. Anyway, let's get our hole drilled. <sighs> okay, sometimes you might want to drill a small hole first, to get you started, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, after you finally get your hole drilled, we're gonna take our split ring and we're gonna start our bolt into it. And we want just a little bit hanging out this side. So just screw it on in there. We're gonna take these little screws out and we're gonna put it on our PVC. We're gonna line our bolt up with our hole, kinda like that. Now we're gonna put the other side back on and tighten it up. Make sure those little bolts are tight. And also make sure this bolt stays in the center okie dokie now that we got our split ring clamped on there really tight as you can see where the hole is we can screw this bolt all the way in now and if we look down the tube you can see where the bolt's sticking out that's the way you want this to be next we're going to glue our one inch tube into our one inch reducer so put some primer on your tube then take your primer and put some primer into your reducer and just like before we're going to put our all-purpose cement on our one inch piece of pvc we're going to put some inside of our one inch reducer we're going to stick them together make sure you give it a good turn and make sure everything locks that way you got a strong rod holder and now we got our rod holder built just look at that and don't get me wrong people this is not the first time you've seen this rod holder i'm sure but i've never seen anybody use a split ring and this little part of it is what makes it awesome now the next step i'm gonna take is i'm gonna paint this thing make it look a little bit better not so much like pvc and then we're gonna try it out see how strong it is you know what i'm saying hey did you hear a joke about the plumber Working on the toilet? No. Never mind. It's too dirty. Well, our rod holder dried, and it turned out pretty dang good. I kind of like it. Got a couple runs on it. It don't matter. It's a rod holder. Let's take this thing outside and let's try it out and see how it works. Okay, so I got my stake and I got me a hammer. Now I'm just going to hammer my stake into the ground. So next we're going to take a rod holder and we're going to slide it on our stake. Then we're going to tighten up the bolt that holds all this stuff together. I'm going to tell you right now. This rod holder is freaking solid. I mean, I've built a lot of rod holders over the years. i built them out of aluminum. I've welded them together. This thing, like you can barely budge this thing. I mean, it's got a three quarter inch stake in the ground. It's solid. Let's put a rod in it and try it out. This thing looks pretty dang sweet. And since I painted it black, it really goes good with my rods. My beautiful Hellcat rods. I really like this thing. This thing does not give when you pull on it this is how much this thing moved with the drag locked completely down and i pulled on it and you can see how much that rod holder moved pulling on it with my hand this thing don't even hardly move i can touch the ground with the rod and this thing barely does move pretty dang cool i'll say that well i'm telling you right now that rod holder turned out pretty dang Awesome. I really did like it. How did the plumber feel when he gave blood? A little drained. Why was the plumber depressed? I don't know. His career was going down the toilet. You finished? I'm here all week. If you like this video, then you're probably going to like this video. So go over to my channel page and check it out. I'm serious. Go check it out because this video is over. <laughs> <laughs>